It was Game 1 of the 1995 Eastern Conference Semifinals. The Knicks' most hated rivals, Reggie Miller and the Indiana Pacers, were in the building. The Knicks had a 105-99 lead with 18-point seconds remaining. There was a chuckle in the Madison Square Garden stands. A comeback for the Pacers was simply out of the question. So they thought. Reggie Miller hits a three-point shot with 16.4 seconds left. It is still a three-point game. All the Knicks have to do is inbound the ball and hit their free throws and move on to game two. Byron Scott and Reggie Miller double Greg Anthony, who then fell to the floor after tangling his feet with the defenders. Miller picked off Anthony Mason's inbound pass, dribbled behind the three-point line, and buried another three-pointer. The game was tied at 105 with 13.3 seconds left. Miller had just scored 6 points in 5.7 seconds. The game is still not over. The Knicks still have a chance. They inbound successfully for a change and then Indiana fouls John Starks and is sent to the free throw line for two free throws. First one, clank. Second one, off the mark. Fortunately, Patrick Ewing grabbed the rebound. Unfortunately, he clanked a 10-foot shot. The rebound was then grabbed by the Knicks killer himself, Reggie Miller. The Knicks fouled him, and Miller has two free throws. Miller begins taunting the Knicks fans and Spike Lee. He then makes two free throws with 7.5 seconds left, giving Indiana the lead 107-105. To end the Knicks' embarrassing collapse, Greg Anthony falls down while driving to the hoop in the final seconds, setting off a wild Pacers celebration. Reggie Miller dashes to the locker room shouting, Choke artists, choke artists. The Pacers end up winning the series in seven games. Knicks head coach, Pat Riley, devastated, ends up resigning from his head coaching position. Asked years later why he went for a three-pointer off the steal instead of a quick two, Miller smiled and responded, I wanted to drive a stake through their heart.